Welcome to this video tutorial where I will show you how to extract topographic points from Google Earth Pro and create contour lines using ArcGIS and a digital terrain model, TIN. Contour lines are a key element of many mapping applications, and ArcGIS is one of the most popular tools for creating them. In this video, I'll show you how to use Google Earth Pro to extract topographic points, and how to generate accurate contour lines, how to create a TIN in ArcGIS. Follow me step by step and you'll be able to create contour lines for your own project in no time. Topographic points, also known as contour points or elevation points, are points that represent the elevation of terrain at a specific location. They are used in mapping and modeling to create topographic maps and to calculate accurate geospatial data. Here are some examples of possible uses for topographic points. For creating topographic maps, Topographic points are used to draw contour lines, which are lines that connect points with the same elevation. Contour lines are used to represent the topography of the land, showing hills, valleys, plateaus and slopes. For terrain modeling, topographic points are used to create digital terrain models, TINs. TINs are 3D representations of the terrain that use topographic points to create a continuous surface. TINs are used to calculate precise geospatial data, such as volumes of excavated material or terrain slopes. For planning construction projects, topographic points are used to identify flat areas and steeply sloping areas of terrain. Builders use this information to plan building foundations and structures. For environmental monitoring, topographic points are used to track changes in water levels, changes in vegetation boundaries, and changes in terrain topography. Topographic points can also be used to model erosion and sedimentation. In summary, topographic points are essential data for mapping, terrain modeling and project planning. They are used to create topographic maps, digital terrain models and to calculate precise geospatial data. Topographic points are therefore important data for environmental management, monitoring of environmental changes and for construction and land development projects. Contour lines and digital terrain models TINs, are two very important tools in mapping, terrain modeling and project planning. Here are some examples of their usefulness. Contour lines visualize the topography of the land by showing hills, valleys, plateaus and slopes. They also make it possible to determine the altitude and slope of the terrain at a given point. Contour lines are used in cartography to create topographic maps, in project planning to identify steep slope areas, and in terrain modeling to create digital terrain models. Digital terrain models, TINs, are used to create 3D representations of the terrain from topographic points. They allow the calculation of precise geospatial data, such as volumes of excavated material, terrain slopes and distances between points. TINs are used in terrain modeling to create three-dimensional models of the terrain and to simulate different development scenarios. Contour lines and digital terrain models are also used for planning construction projects. They make it possible to determine the stability of the ground, the zones at risk of landslide and the zones of erosion. They also make it possible to plan the foundations and structures of buildings according to the topography of the land. Contour lines and digital terrain models are used for environmental management, monitoring environmental changes and for planning land use projects. They monitor changes in water levels, changes in vegetation boundaries and changes in the topography of the land. They also make it possible to model erosion and sedimentation. In summary, contour lines and digital terrain models are important tools in mapping, terrain modeling and project planning. They help to visualize the topography of the land, to calculate precise geospatial data, to plan the foundations and structures of buildings and to monitor environmental changes.